Okay, here we've got a question. We've got if clean samples of copper and zinc are dropped into a pure solution containing dissolved lead nitrate, which of the following best describes the reaction? Well, first off, we need to look at our table of standard reduction potentials, and this is just a small section of it that we're going to look at. We've got zinc. Now, let's look at zinc. Zinc is up here. And then we've got copper. Copper 2 plus, assume it's copper 2, two plus unless stated otherwise. And we've got lead. Where's our lead? PB, PB, B. There we are. Okay. Now, with these ones, you need to remember that the lower it, down it is, the greater the chance it is of getting its electrons. Okay, so the copper, because it is the lowest down on the table, it is already solid copper, it's going to keep its electrons. Okay, so straight off, nothing is going to happen to the copper. If we look at that, we've got lead ions and zinc. Now, because the lead ions are lower down, or lead is lower down on the table of standard reduction potentials than the zinc, that means it is going to get the electrons. So that means that this reaction is going to happen. We're going to have lead being reduced, the lead ions being reduced to solid lead, and this reaction is going to happen in the reverse direction. So this one is going to go this way okay so let's have a look at the question the solution will turn blue because of copper ions well no copper's not going to do anything it's already the copper ions have already got their electrons they're going to keep them nothing's going to happen to the copper the nitrate produces brown poisonous NO2 well that's just that's just rubbish second one the zinc becomes coated with copper well, once again, the copper is not going to do anything, and there's no copper ions to be re reduced, so no, nope, that is not it. The mass of the solid zinc will decrease. Yes, it will, because it is turning into zinc ions. The lead ions are turning into solid lead. So D is the correct answer for this particular question. Which underlying species is being oxidized in the following reactions? Okay, so the oxygen... Now that has an oxidation state of zero because it's elemental. Over here, we're going to, uh, it's the oxygens are two minus. So they're being reduced. So that's not the answer. Let's have a look here. Sodium hydroxide. Okay, the sodium ions, well they're just going to stay as sodium ions. The oxygen there is minus two. Uh, over here it's still minus 2, hydrogen 0 plus 1, there's still plus 1 here, so that's also not the right answer. Let's have a look here. Uh, zinc is going from z zinc, which is 0, and it's going here to 2 plus. That means it's being oxidized. Okay, That means that that is the correct answer. Just to confirm, we'll have a look at this one. We've got chlorine. Now that is, chlorine's got an oxidation state of zero here. They've got an oxidation state of minus one here. So that means that's being reduced. So once again, that isn't the answer. The answer is C.